The problem of evil looks at first glance like a theological problem, and that's how it was formulated at a time when everybody was a theist, essentially. So the question of how we could find meaning or how we could live with horrible evil and suffering was in the first instance a question about how God could permit it to happen. How could a good God permit a world in which children die and earthquakes happen and plagues come and it looks as if innocent people get knocked out um, and often uh, horrible people prosper. Traditional Christians can even though they have a framework which ought to answer the problem of evil, often uh, stumble on the question, so why, if God knows everything and is perfectly benevolent, why did he um, create human beings so as to sin at all? The traditional answer was given by St. Augustine, who said, well, God loved human beings so much that he wanted to make them free and dignified. And in order to be free, you have to be really free. And to be really free, you also have to be able to make wrong choices. So this was actually a gift that God gave us to make us in his image, to make us um, completely autonomous and able to choose. And we blew it. The French ph philosopher Pierre Bayle had a wonderful analogy, which I think, frankly, uh, rips up that answer. He compares God on this metaphor uh, to being like a mother who allows her daughters to go to a ball knowing that they'll lose their virginity there. And of course in those days, in the 18th and 17th century this was, if a girl lost her virginity she was an outcast, her life was over, nobody would marry her, she had no other options. It's almost a fate worse than death, or for some people I suppose a fate worse than death. And Bale says, well, the mother could say she told her daughters to be careful, and nevertheless, a woman who lets them go to the ball knowing that they'll lose their virginity there loves neither her daughters nor chastity. <laughs> and I just think it's a brilliant answer to what Augustine called the free will defense of God. And it leaves Christianity with a huge set of questions to answer.